feeling of the nation must be quickened. The conscience of the nation must be roused. The propriety of the nation must be startled. The hypocrisy of the nation must be exposed. And its crimes against God and man must be proclaimed and denounced. What to the American slave is your 4th of July? A few years ago, NPR gathered the ancestors of abolitionist and statesman Frederick Douglass to recite an historic speech he delivered July 5th, 1852. David Blight is a Yale historian and the author of Frederick Douglass, Prophet of Freedom. He joins us this morning. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Great to be with you. Thanks for joining us. So Frederick Douglass was originally asked to give this speech on the 4th of July. Can you talk about why he wanted to do it on the 5th and the significance of that? He was invited by his uh, friends in the anti-slavery uh, society of Rochester, New York. Uh, it's called the Ladies Anti-Slavery Society. But he said to them, I'd, I'd prefer to do it on the 5th. Now, that wasn't just his choice. That was actually a tradition among African Americans in the state of New York uh, as a kind of a protest. Uh, you can have your 4th of July. We'll do it on the 5th. So. That's why he chose uh, the second day. He gave it in a great hall, a, a really quite new edifice in Rochester called Corinthian Hall to about 600 people. Mm. And I'm sure there are lots of, uh, many parts of this speech rather, that could be applied today, could be learned uh, today. To tell us some highlights from this speech that you would like people to remember and apply in today's society. Well, the reason it is read so widely now in public places, uh, outside in parks and libraries, city halls, and so on, is first because it's a rhetorical masterpiece, as you could sense in in the, the partial readings of those children, those descendants of Douglas. Um, but it is also a poignant, unforgettable um, statement of the American hypocrisy over slavery. And he uses the 4th of July, the Declaration of Independence, as a way of doing that. This is Douglas, the great ironist, even satirist, telling America of the doom that lays ahead of them if they do not face this question of slavery. He calls the 4th of July the American Passover. He gives it deep biblical resonance and biblical footing. He quotes... Uh, about five times from the Bible, in fact, in this speech, he uses uh, the Hebrew prophet Isaiah, which was common for him. But primarily what it is, is first of all, an honoring of the founding fathers, an honoring of the Declaration of Independence, an honoring of the principles of the Declaration of Independence. Then about one third of the way into the speech, it's as though he brought a hammer down on the podium and he said, pardon me, why have you invited me here to address you on your 4th of July? And then he rains down that word you and your and you and your over and over and over. He employs the Psalms. And then in the middle of the speech, he gives a long middle of the speech, he gives a litany of the horrors of the slave trade, of slavery itself, of auction blocks, of the domestic slave trade. He takes his audiences through every painful element of American slavery. In fact, he even takes the slavery story to their senses. He says he makes them hear the chains in a slave ship. He makes them smell a slave pen where people are held before sale. And then he stops the final little third of the speech. He has, he has just blistered his audience with the horrors of slavery. And then he, he ends the last few pages by simply arguing that America is still young. He says it's still malleable. You can, you still have a chance to change your ways, your society. And, but time is running out on you. Uh, he gives this speech in 1852. It's an especially fascinating moment in time to deliver that kind of a speech. And he knew he had written something very important. He had the text of this speech. It's more than 20 pages already prepared in a pamphlet form that he took on the road and sold. Um, well, David Blight, we really appreciate your insight this morning. Thank you so much for your time. You're more than welcome. Thank you. And for more information, there's the website, davidwblight.com.